interesting and important thing about Spring Fling is that it's artists doing it for themselves. It's about seeing artists in situ and being able to go right across what is really a vast area and varied area of uh, South West Scotland and watch artists working. And it has been compared to a kind of creative Monroe bagging. I want to hug you every day and kiss you in every way. I want to write names in the sand and walk round hand in hand. I think it's positioning Dumfries and Galloway as a creative and vibrant part of Scotland and that attracts people. Um, I think event-led tourism and cultural-led tourism is so important now and that people now associate the area with creativity and they want to visit it. Want to carve hearts in a tree and it say you love me without you by my side I'd be nothing in life without The main advantage is the visitor is going straight to the studio and the artist or maker and it's a one-to-one -one situation where you can actually see where the person works, you meet the person which makes such a difference rather than the middleman of the gallery. They can come to an artist in their room, garage, studio, garret, whatever it might be and they're made to feel welcome and they can actually see the paints and the brushes of the potter's wheel or the loom and feel if they want to buy something it has actually come from that table, that loom, that kiln or whatever it is and I think that's very important to some people. I think it has encouraged us to be inventive we have mystery bus tours, we have cycle tours, we have walks, we have a kelly, we're having a wine tasting. All those things we would not have thought of if it hadn't been for Spring Fling. I want to see the sun go down with you when horns around. I think it's encouraging us all to value where we work and live. And hopefully in the long run that is going to pass on to a younger generation.